we are aware that we have to carry our cross as a nation on our own until very end. We feel your presence, God, and that of our Blessed Mother. You have been standing by us all the way, giving us strength and courage, and know that you will see us through until the last day of this awful war. Lord, we beg you, be with us, guide us, protect us, and support us. Your help is the only key to victory and peace that we so desperately need. As employees of Caritas Pass Ukraine, we are here and ready to serve you. Thank you, God. Jesus sentenced to death. Jesus, you are condemned to death. You stand all alone. Nobody speaks up for you. Nobody helps defend you. What are you feeling at this moment? Is it fear? Is it pity? Is it helplessness? When I think of you at this time, I think of all Ukrainians who faced not a natural death, but were condemned to death by another human. Condemned simply for being themselves, being the truth and living the truth in their native land. Many of them did not even have time to realize the inevitability of death, to feel anything at all, to accept this death. I also think about those Ukrainians who are now captured by the enemy and who do not know if they will survive and see their loved ones again. Please, give us all the courage and fortitude to accept those things we cannot change. Help us to resign ourselves to God's will with such humility and love as you did. Help us stay strong and develop a deeper trust in him. Jesus puts the cross on his shoulders. Mom, Dad, Son, Daughter, wake up. A full-scale invasion in our country has begun. The war. These words were the words we heard from our relatives, friends, and close ones in that early morning. Sirens and explosions are already heard in the cities. The son quickly packs his things, hugs and calms his parents, wife, children, and he goes to the armed forces to defend his country. He realizes that it will be his way of the cross with its trials and sufferings. But he accepts it, and he is ready to carry it for the sake of peace. Each of us realizes that it will be a difficult way of the cross, where rage, contempt, pain, humiliation will reign. We stand together around the cross. We hear the words of Jesus, and he speaks to us. If anyone wants, to come after me. He must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Lord, we trust you and pray for your help and presence at the time when each of us takes up and carries our cross. Benedicimus tibi, quia per 
crucem tua, redemisti mundu. Clea per crucem tua, redemisti mundu. Jesus fall under the cross for the first time. Jesus, you are just an ordinary man, but you accept the will of our Father and obediently go to that to the sake of forgiving the sins of all mankind. How many people are walking beside you and don't recognize you as their Savior? You walk alone, in your suffering, carrying a huge cross on your back. How many sins, how much impurity, how many lies and judgment of all the people are placed in that cross. And for the first time you fall down because our sins are too heavy. Jesus, teach us how to treat our neighbors with care Teach us how to live according to your commandments and to remember your sacrifice in every hour action. In every dialogue, accept the pain of our neighbor of our own cross. Teach us, Jesus, how to accept all our hardship, hardship with humility for the sake of lightening the burden of your own cross. Teach us how to find that unique support that was strengthening you when you again got up on the feet to carry your cross. Teach us, Jesus, how to do the same. Amen. Adoramus te Christe. Benedicimus tibi, quia per crucem tuam, redemisti mundu. Quia per crucem tuam, redemisti Jesus meets his mother. Mom, mom, I had a nightmare. Mom, mom, I was in a fight with the boys and I'm hurt. Mom, mom, I lost my comrades. There are only three of us left out of the whole squadron of 30 people. I'm scared. And what about this mom? When she hears these words, she pretends to be brave, strong and almost almighty. Though she looks fragile, sensitive, tender, indeed, she is almighty. Almighty in the love for her child. This is the love that gives a child the needed strength, courage, and endurance to go forward, to uphill. You don't need many words for support. All you need is a look, a voice, a breath full of love. And then a terrible dream, burning pain, overwhelming fear disappears. How many people are now looking for a meeting with the mother, with a look that does not condemn, does not pity, but understands, love, and supports? God also needed to meet with his mother on his way of the cross. How big is the mission of a mother in a human life when even God needs to meet her? In the moments of greatest suffering, we seek her support. In the most difficult moments of his life, Jesus also gives us his mother so that she can be our mother as well. Mary, mother of God and our mother, protect every child who suffers especially because of the terrible and unjust war against Ukrainian people. 
Give us the strength to go through this thorny, blood-spotted path and not to lose our faith and love. Adoramos te, Christe, benedicimus tibi, quia per crucem tuam redemis timundum, quia per crucem tuam redemis timundum. Simon of Kyrene helps Jesus carry the cross. We, like Simon of Kyrene, in the whirlwind of everyday life and work, we are not prepared to be forced to take up the cross on February 24, in a specific, cruel, unexpected way and time. But having taken it up, we have to help everyone who has lost their home, is unable to earn to for daily bread, is on a long journey as an immigrant or is some other kind of need. In the thousands of people's faces, we see one face, our God, Jesus, who was bonded under the frame of the cross for my and our sins. We have been called to be God's children, but let us not allow ourselves to be in infantile, like children, in our ministry, work, and family. When we take the cross of Christ, let us carry it to the next stage of life, in our development, when we learn new skills and knowledge, open ourselves to other people, and overcome the summits that were unreachable for us before. We pray for all the leaders, workers, and volunteers of Caritas Space, religious and humanitarian organizations, so that at the moment when the cross needs to be taken, they will not lack courage, strength, endurance. We also pray for opens to his gaze, through the gazes of the Pharian, the gods, and just the people around us. May the ace of suffering God open our spirit ace to the mercy, duty, responsibility, and the ways of Christ. Adoramus te Christe, benedicimus te. Jesus' face. When I was a child, my parents would take me to the river. When my lips turned blue from swimming, my mother would call me to the shore to cover me with a large semi, semi-transparent shovel. The shovel did not warm me at all, but it gave me a sense of security. It was like a mobile shelter drove which no enemy could get in. Suddenly, the sound of sirens, the ground shaking, the shovel instantly become a buckly slab of high-rise building that trapped the woman's body. This woman could still hear her son's voice in her head. Mom, I've already packed the toys Please turn on a cartoon about tractors. Fettered, helpless, she was calling her son beginning the universe for help. Woman, shot us again. Give us a sign. 
we can hear you one more time. This is what was heard through that war-torn shovel. I saw St. Veronica's shovel on a destroyed bridge of Irpin, with hundreds of frightened faces looking out from under it. In the crowded metro station Maidan Constituci, where the girl Victoria was born, in fully packed evacuation trains at the main railway station in Kyiv. Today, among the blood stains of the war torn shovel, the face of Christ can be seen, waving of hospitality, solidarity, cooperation, and embers. I feel like my hands are falling off. I started my day with a letter that I didn't finish yesterday. Sometimes it seems that I have neither the strength nor the desire to move on. But suddenly I receive a call from Odessa, Kharkiv or Dnipro that brings me back to myself. And I understand that there are people who didn't give up, who continue their daily existing work, day after day. They continue to bring our victory, victory closing every single day. The victory of light and goodness, thanks to their praise. Like Jesus, they carry their cross. Do not complain. Do not grumble. They sincerely share everything they have. Food, water, clothes or shelter. Jesus fell three times, but he found the strength to get up to continue his way. Who am I? This is a question I ask myself every day. And every day I feel his love and support. And I take another step. A step forward, together with all Ukrainians, together with whole Ukraine, to hear the call from the Parisian Kherson Osumi once again. Adoramus te Christe, reneditimus tibi, quia per crucem tuam, redemis timundu, quia per crucem tuam, redemis timundu. Jesus comforts the weeping women. The city was rushing outside the window. Twilight was falling down. The woman closed the certain. I will wait for the dawn and look forward to seeing him again. The closest one I have, to whom I gave birth to 19 years ago. Sharp sound of a phone call broke into the mother's thoughts. For four months now, the phone has been a source of hope and anxiety. Hello? No, I didn't hear any news. No one is saying anything. Valentina's son has been returned from the Russian captivity. He says it was such a hell there that no one could survive. But I don't believe him. We just have to pray. Pray and wait. The black and white world become filled with colors. 
She opened the damp front door. Suddenly the light has captured all her vision and everything seemed frozen, except for the young man on the bench. The woman immediately recognized her son. She ran over to hug him right away, but he pulled back from her hands saying, Mom, don't hold me. I am alive. I will come back. And he seemed to disappear into a consciousness that was like waking up from a dream. Lord, thank you for this dream, for the glam of hope, she prayed in the morning. It seems like these days have no ending, and then maybe they made a mistake. Maybe someone else had his passport, his phone, his rosary. Or maybe his fingers were frozen on the mystery of the resurrection. Tears could not extinguish the burning fire in her heart. Lord, I am left alone in this world, just like your mother. Let us see in the windows of our hearts at least a shine of hope for resurrection. Adoramus te Christe, benedicimus tibi, quia per crucem tua, redemis Jesus falls under the cross for the third time. The heart doesn't hurt anymore when the siren wells. Already used to live in someone else's house. Reading the news. Someone is being buried again. They are being buried every day. So you grit your teeth, wipe your tears, and stumbly go forward for the sake of those who are still alive, for the sake of those who will be born. But the missiles are flying on us again. They sow death everywhere they go. They don't boast to choose. Who is next? Maybe me. Cold, darkness, and frustration. There is no more strength to hold on. Maybe my salvation is in death. We take the cross on our shoulders together with the whole Ukraine. The entire world supports us when Ukraine falls under the burden of trials tortures, and humiliation. Lord, you withstood every fall, and you ascended to Calvary. Give us the strength to rise, and the faith that our suffering will lead us to victory. Adoramus te Christe, Benedicimus tibi, quia per crucem tuam, redemis ti mundu. Quia per crucem tuam, redemis ti Jesus is stripped of his clothes. Jesus consciously accepts this public humiliation. He is willing to take off even his own skin for our sake, ready to strip himself to the bone in the order to redeem our sins. A girl from Dnipro, all naked in the ruins of her own bathroom, 
in 10 degree cold, in the lenses of the world media, in the eyes of the viewers. Here, nudity is torture. The only difference is that this torture is performed in a different way, with the voice of a commander uh, giving an order, with the hands of Russian soldier who fired a missile into a house where these people live, or to be more precise, lived. Women in Bucha, Izum, Mariupol, Kherson, and hundreds of other cities and towns whose close virginity and lives were ripped away. This was going on here for the past eight years. The last year is just more intense. Jesus, I do feel involved. I feel involved in their pain, their wounds, and their nakedness. I feel that it me in each of them, just as in every destroyed house, in every execution room, in every grave. But I won't not be able to stand it all alone. Jesus, give my people the strength to end you and after that to reborn one once again. Give us the strength to resist and not lose our dignity. Be with us, Jesus, on this way of the cross of my people. My Lord, you feel our nakedness, our vulnerability, our fragility, like no one else in this world. Adoramos te, Christe, benedicimus tibi, quia per crucem tua, redemisti mundu, quia per crucem tua, Jesus is nailed to the cross. Jesus, he was nailed to the shameful tree of the cross together with Ukraine. Together with Ukraine, they exposed you, thus disrespected you, disregarded your dignity, crossed it out. Just as rusty nails were hammered into your poor and holy hands, nails were hammered into the cities of Ukraine in the form of carpet bombing. How many Ukrainians have been deprived of their limbs by the terrible nails of this war. How many children will not be able to hug their parents or take a walk in their favorite place where they grew up? Jesus, we know that you suffer with this innocence. Your most sacred heart is full of sorrow and indescribable pity for your children. And now you have been finally nailed to a tree you are bleeding. The whole of Ukraine, nailed to the cross of war, is bleeding with you. Mariupol, Olenivka, Kharkiv, Kramatorsk, Dnipro, Bakhmut, Vinnitsa, Zaporizhia, Mykolaiv. How many groans and blood was shed during this time of war? We believe that the martyrdom and death of so many Ukrainians are not in vain. We believe that you are creating a history with our people to reveal your glory in them. Adoramus te Christe, benedicimus tibi, quia per crucem tuam redemis Mundo. 
Jesus dies on the cross. Every night I put my four years old daughter to bed. She is the embodiment of light on this earth. And she asks me, Mommy, why do people, bad people, come to us? Will you help me? And I answer her, yes, my love. I will always be with you and I will help you. During these moments, I try to remember the palm of your hand, the smell of your hair, the rhythm of your breathing, because tomorrow, maybe, I won't do this again. Death is so close. In these moments, I try not to hate our enemy, because that's the thing he wants us to do. They want us to dive into evil and hate. They want us to die uh, spiritually. They want us to lose our souls. And it's so hard to keep faith when death is so close. I ask you, Lord, to give me the strength to endure this trial and to save lives of my family and of all Ukrainians. After all, there have been so many deaths that it's time to start living. Adoramus te Christe, benedicimus ti. Sem tu am redemisti mundum, quia per crucem tu am redemisti mundum. Jesus is taken down from the cross. When Jesus was taking off the cross, there were only few of his apostles around. Only few of them were brave enough to take that breedless body and carry him to the grave. But Nicodemus and Joseph were there. There was a moment when their mighty and wise teacher was no more able to cure people, cast out demons, raise the dead, or command any living creature on earth. But those two were there, holding his cold and humiliated body. I often imagine how our country will look like once the war is over. Once Ukraine passes all the stations of its way of the cross, who will be there to pull all the metal nails from its hands and feet? Who will be there to take it on the loving and caring shoulders when many of us will become hopeless, homeless, or worse, will no longer be willing to live in such ruined country. Will we, or will I be there, ready to accept millions of challenges, disappointments, horrifying truths, which are waiting for us right after the corner, right after this nightmare is over? Or will we just disappear as many of the apostles did? They were too scared to walk with Jesus on his very last road. Our mighty Father, whatever the end of our way of the cross will look like, let us be at least remotely similar to Nicodemus and Joseph. They loved him when he was alive, and they took care of him when he was no longer powerful or magnificent. Give us the strength to follow that example and bring our imperfect love and care what it is most needed. Adoramus te Christe, benedicimus tibi, quia per crucem tu.
Jesus is late in the tomb. Lord Jesus, by late in the tomb and then rising triumphantly from it, you have restored our life. Today marks one year since we saw many innocent Ukrainians not only late in the tombs, but also tortured before being, being dumped and dignified in common graves. Your story, Jesus, seems to be repeating. The Gospel of John testifies that Calvary is located in a garden where there is a tomb that have never been used. It is said that a deep silence covered Calvary. Right there, the disciples of Jesus laid down his body. Today, many pits have been found in the Ukrainian land, which is sacred to us, covered with the same silence in the deep forest and corpses that were laid one on top of another have been removed from the late and laid in the graves to give full dignity and respect to each of them. Jesus, the only consolation in all these places can only come from you, who gave your life for each of those who are already with you today. We know that after three days that body rose again. Therefore, we ask you to be close, to personally accompany all those who are, have lost loved ones and all of us on our earthly journey through our joys and tribulations. Adoramos te, Christe, benedicimus tibi, quia per crucem tuam redemisti mundum, quia per crucem tuam Jesus, on this way of the cross of Ukraine, we meet you on your way, like Simon of Cyrene met you. He was a passerby and he was asked to carry your cross. Simon carried your cross, Lord, and it must have transformed him forever. Help us to do the same. Help us to carry the cross of the people of Ukraine. This cross that the people have been carrying already since many years due to the war, which has intensified so terribly since the full-scale invasion a year ago. As Caritas, we want to continue to be here. For as long as you walk on this way of the cross, we want to help alleviate the burden of your suffering people. Like Veronica, let us stand ready to wipe the blood, the blood and the sweat from your face, to give you a moment of respite. Help us do the little we can for the people suffering in Ukraine and the people suffering across the world. Give us the strength to continue to support for as long as is needed. Let us never leave you alone. Help us stay with you. And when you are crucified, let us stay next to your cross, crying and staying. It's so difficult to keep the faith when death is so close, we heard tonight. We need to help one another to keep that fragile flame of faith and hope alive. 
We need to stay together, close to the people of Ukraine, help one another to keep hope, help to keep faith, even when it is hard to do so. Jesus, you are our only consolation. You share our sorrows, our grief, our pain, and our joy. Yesterday, today, tonight, this night, tomorrow, and for life. Whilst we don't know yet the end of this way of the cross, we know that darkness and even death can never, ever have the last word. In the midst of this night, we trust you. We know that you are eternal light and we know that you are life. And Mary, mother of God, the mother of the people of Ukraine, the mother of this world, of every one of us, Mary, our mother, stay with us, pray for us and help us persevere. Amen. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into 